Police announced a $100,000 reward today in the case of Elnaz Haj Tamiri. The 37-year-old was abducted from a relative's home in Wasaga Beach a year ago today. Three suspects in police gear forced their way in, dragged her out, and drove away in a white Lexus SUV. She hasn't been seen since. Today, police released composite sketches of the suspects and urged anyone with information to come forward. The first suspect is described as approximately six feet tall, very skinny, lighter black skin with a long, narrow face. Along with the description I mentioned before, he had a thick black belt with an attached handcuff pouch and a holstered black gun with a magazine holder. The gun appeared to have been worn with metal areas exposed. CB24 crime analyst Steve Ryan joins us now live with details. And Steve, a year into the investigation, a year to the day since this happened, with today's update, where do you feel police are in this investigation? Well, first off, there's no surprise that they made this announcement with regards to a reward and this suspect descriptions on the anniversary date of uh, this woman's disappearance. They have the ex-boyfriend in custody, and they've charged him with attempted murder from the incident back in 2021 in York Region in December. They've also charged him with an attempt abduction, and they charged him with abducting her up in Wasaga Beach. Mm -hmm. So clearly, the ex-boyfriend's got his hands, allegedly, all around this occurrence. They just can't find where she is, mm -hmm. and that's the next step in this process. At this point, uh, depending on where the investigation goes, can you lay a murder charge without a body? Yeah, that's a great question. And uh, hypothetically speaking, yes, you can. And that's got nothing to do with this case. But obviously, the longer time goes on when a person is missing as a result of foul play, the investigators become more and more concerned. But if you have evidence, DNA evidence, let's say mm -hmm. blood in a car where you've got a pathologist to say that if a person were to lose that amount of blood, they would not survive. And then you need to match that blood to a family member to identify who that blood belongs to. Mm -hmm. You can lay a murder charge. It's not easy to do. Mm -hmm. It's not an easy prosecution, but it's possible. And from your experience, when putting out rewards to help with more tips, to help with leads, and in this case, a year after this happened, how effective are these rewards, or can they be? They can be very effective. Money does talk, for sure, mm -hmm. and money is a, is a motivator. The focus is on uh, the ex-boyfriend. He clearly has information, according to the police, because they've charged him with the attempt at abduction, plus the attempt at murder, plus the abduction of her. So he is a key focus to this, and clearly he's not telling them much, and this is why they have to go to alternative routes, which is to reach out to the community. Mm -hmm. And these composite sketches aren't fantastic. Uh, they have hoods over them, but how helpful could they be at this point where maybe the eyes or the features could help someone identify these people? Any bit of information that the police can get out there can be helpful. And you heard the inspector say that today. No matter how minor you think a tip mm -hmm. might be, pass that information on and the investigators will follow it up. All right, CB24 crime analyst Steve Ryan, thanks so much for your insight. Appreciate sure. it.